Welcome to the video. In this quick tip, I want to share a really cute new resource for us Tyrannus and OpenTX pilots. Now, one of the things that I get asked around a lot is Lua scripts. And Lua scripts are ways, little bits of code that you can run on your radio to do some quite cool stuff. In fact, the setup on the radio that gives you the option to set up kind of your plane, your quadcopter or a wing and then go through the basics is actually a Lua script, but there's an awful lot more that you can do. Now I've been looking around on how we can get Lua scripts um, and if there's a central place where they're all centralized and managed and actually one of my patrons has come up with a solution. So I wanted to share this with the community because we're talking to the gentleman who runs rcdiy.ca. This has all kind of just been set up recently, but we were talking about having a really smart Lua script for the GPS functions. So a while ago, we did a video where we talked about setting up the GPS sensor. And one of the things that Rav, who runs RCDIY, was interested in was having a Lua script so that rather than have all that information abstract, you could have things like directional arrows, return to home position information, and all that stuff right there on your Tirana screen in front of you. And we had a chat about this, and then amazingly, he's gone away and he's written it, and it works really great. In fact, there's a pilot on RC groups that found his plane by using that GPS information. And also, I've had other subscribers who have asked about Lua scripts for things like lap timing, the ability to pull a switch temporarily as you're flying around to give you an idea of how quickly those things can be created. And again, Rav is looking at putting all that stuff together and also acting as a central place to kind of host other Lua scripts that we as the community will find interesting as well. So I want to do a huge shout out to Rav and his website, rcdiy.ca. Uh, Rav is over there in Canada. And just give you a very quick look through this so um, you can see how it's all laid out. I'd recommend if you're watching this video and you have a Tyrannus, go and have a look at this, particularly if you're into Lua scripts and you know a Lua script or you use one that's really good, let him know. Or alternatively, if you've been looking for a Lua script that did a very specific thing, uh, but you just simply can't find one, then uh, Rav is a very clever chap. And if you let him know what you're after, then I'm sure he'd be interested in looking at it for you. So here's his website. So um, here's the main page with all of the information on here. So um, information about using telemetry scripts is really nice where you put them on the card how you set them up that's all on here which is awesome then we have a central repository where all the scripts are downloaded uh, so it go in there and that's where he's going to be holding them all we then have uh, posts and videos about Lua scripts in the central repository, and here it allows you to actually submit a script request if you're interested. And this one is one that I asked him about and he's currently looking at, which is the lap timer, which is one that would allow people who are practicing to just test out and see how quickly they're going around. And he's already done a ton of work on this. So if this is something that you're interested in, do come along to the website and let him know that this is uh, something that's important enough and he'll get it done. A couple of other things on here, uh, you can navigate using the posts on the right hand side. So here's our information about the two sensors, the GPS one that we've done on the uh, site so far. We're also gonna be having a look at the current sensor in the next month or two. We've also done the LiPo battery checker and then we have the Tyrannus pieces. And then here in OpenTX, we have all the settings and there's the Lua scripts. So the other thing we'll look at then is just look at these telemetry scripts. We got this GPS direction home distance trip. Um, here is uh, the website rcdiy.ca. I put a link in the description, and here is all of the great stuff: the direction you're flying, um, where you need to, the direction you need to look at to find it, the direction to home arrow, which way you need to turn. There's some really really cute stuff in here, and it's all available for you to download and have a crack at. Now the only other thing I'd say here is if you're gonna use this site and you find it useful, then please look at clicking on the donation button. Donation button will take you to Patreon and uh, RCDIY has set one up. It's very new, you can see here, I'm doing this video right at the very start of this, but I want to give a shout out because the stuff that I've done with Rav over the last six, eight weeks, I've been really, really impressed with. So have a look at his website, go and have a look. If you use the GPS or you're interested, come along in here and watch these videos, get a hold of the scripts and have a go. And then also if you find that that stuff is useful, 
as this website becomes more and more of a repository and Rav creates more and more Lua scripts to address the things that we want as pilots, do make sure you jump onto the donation page and send a couple of books his way every month. It makes a huge difference to all creators. Thank you for taking the time to watch that video. There are lots of other videos on the channel and they're carefully ordered into playlists. So you may find that there are other videos on this same subject that you can go and watch. So I would recommend going into the playlist area of Painless360 YouTube channel and looking around and seeing what there is. You never know what you might find. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and happy flying.